exciting. Um, the first of class in Glasgow is quite a challenging ship to build as we're designing and building at the same time. So now that we're moving into Cardiff, it's always a little bit smoother. We've got our second ship coming in to build. And particularly for my team, our workload will now ramp up. It emphasises to us how quickly the programme is advancing and therefore how important it is for us to prevent any delays. It's materialising our efforts so far. So it's great to see that your work is starting to take shape. That transition from a design, a specification, to actually real steel, real hardware, real equipment. It's taking forward the learning that we've learned in Ship One through all the units that we've done already and the inspections that we've already done and embedding that and taking the learning and pre-empting some of the things that we've picked up before to ensure that we don't have a reoccurrence on Ship Two. In the past two years, technology has changed and fabricated majorly. We've seen the introduction of machinery such as the robot welder, which helps to weld our bars and stiffeners on bulkheads and panels. From ship one to ship two, we'll look to, to take the technology that we've started to use and expand it to other areas, such as laser scanning, to help us with our dimensional control. This help allows us to put the dimensional control measurements into the visualisation suite, bringing the multiple teams together to assess and analyse that data to ensure that we get everything on point and that everybody understands the tolerances and the dimensions that are available. Yeah, we've got a really good relationship with our suppliers and that's really important that we have that two-way working, that it's a collaborative effort. The relationship we have with our customer is very close, so the customer is heavily involved in the design of our user interfaces and the procedures that are going to be used on the software. Industry, Royal Navy, MOD seem to be working very collaboratively on this project, which is very refreshing. It's about making sure that we're open and honest and giving them the most reliable product that they effectively can. Having the customer embedded and working closely with the customer so early on is really beneficial for the progressive assurance and acceptance that we're going through, especially on Glasgow and into Cardiff. That allows us to make joint decisions early on so that problems don't grow and build. So it builds a confidence in the customer that we're doing the right thing, following the processes and delivering to the standard that they expect. For us on a day-to-day -day basis, we are, we're building ships and sometimes you forget what happens to that ship once it's done. The importance of that role, what we do, and how we play a massive part in the Navy and protecting our nation is, is key. Moving into the manufacturing phase for ship two um, means a lot for me. Um, personally, uh, I managed to do my apprenticeship here when I was younger, and with that kind of future ahead of us, I can say to my daughter, who's 14 now, that there's a real chance she could also get an apprenticeship here, and for us, that's a really big deal. Two years ago, I was an apprentice myself, working on the first ship of Type 26. Now I'm getting to pass my knowledge on to other apprentices for the ship to Cardiff, as I'm now a tradesman myself. Knowing that my contributions are going towards these final builds and that we've actually started creating some of those designs and models that I've contributed to, it's just a really great feeling. I previously spent 20 years in the Navy. It was always uh, a thought of mine, how can I improve everything? Well, I'm in that position now and I'm hopefully putting things right that I discovered were wrong 20 years ago. I see it to see all the hard work and the good work that goes on and all the functions to try and bring this project together. It's a really large, complex project and getting to see all those areas and that view right across the top is, is something which, which keeps me going. With two ships going to be in the manufacturing phase, for me that means busy, 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 but that's how I like it. If I had to choose three words to describe the Type 26 project, it would be complex, capable and compact. Diversity, opportunity, quality. Proud, challenging and motivational. Challenging, uh, ongoing and legacy. Educational, uh, opportunity and accomplished. Innovation, collaboration and quality. Complex difficult but exciting.